What's up guys and gals? I'm happy to have you here with me at the Nerd Castle. Today it's actually in the evening. This is post stream. I'm hanging out recording some Neo Scavenger. The things on the list today that we need to accomplish. We really, 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 really need to find a water supply. We're out of water. So today that's that's pretty much the operation of the hour, I suppose. And it looks like we've actually come across a little bit of water right here. We need to boil up some more water. We need to make sure that we have enough water supply to clean our wounds and make sure that they all stay okay. I'm pretty sure that you're not supposed to wash a wound with clean water, though. Almost positive. I think, isn't there a scene in the 13th Warrior where he's about to purify his wounds with clean water? He has boiled water, and they tell him to use cow urine, and he's all, like, grumpy about it. He's like, you can't use cow urine! Like, and it actually turns out you can. If I eat these right here, let's make some room because I'd rather carry some of this stuff along with me. We're gonna make ourselves a fire in the next little bit, and so I'm gonna do my best to do that. But we've got a more than enough food. I think we've got a really, really good stack of gameplay going for us right now. I don't know what tinfoil is used for. If you want to leave it down in the comments below, I do batch record, but I will attempt. If you want to leave me crafting recipes, I have the crafting recipe list right in front of me. So I have it on my, I actually have a dual screen right now, and I've got all the recipes up on my left hand screen, and I, that's why I'm able to move through this so quickly and like know what I'm doing is because with one hand I'm doing control F on whatever it is that I need. You may have heard me click clacking in the background. I don't even know. I think I can... Let me... I'm gonna drink... Oh, actually, the player is starting to sweat. We're too hot right now. That's not good. Take off our pants! Okay, so it looks like... I don't know... If we're sweating, let's go ahead and take that off, and we'll just wear, like, normal clothes right now. We haven't found any shoes, weirdly enough. I wish we had shoes, but... We don't. So, I'm probably just going to take that off right there and leave it. We could chop it up for rags if we wanted to, but eh. Not a big deal to me. Operation find some water. Alright, so finding some water is going to require us to... Oh, we need to rest. Never mind. Let's rest for a second. Oh, player's disposable plastic shopping bag has fallen apart. And that's led to all my stuff falling on the ground. No! All of my loverly stuff. All of the things that I wanted to carry along with me. Well, damn it. Okay, well now that our stuff has fallen all over the place, what we need to do right now is we need to make a fire and we need to purify this water and make sure that it's nice and ready. Taking a look at our bandages, they're still holding up. They're only at 65, 75. We're still looking good. We're still looking good. We don't have any painkillers. I don't realize, I don't know why we're blind right now. Why are we blind? I'm a little bit concerned about the fact that we're blind. I don't, I didn't read anything in that last combat where it looked like we got our eyes put out or anything. I, typically the game does a fairly good job of explaining those sorts of things to you. It's, it's right there in English, so I think that maybe what I'll do for right now is we've got the stuff that we need right now to make a fire. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right this second. So let's make a fire. There's a little fire right there. We're going to take that on out. We're going to make a big fire, actually. Get that thing moving so that it'll still be here later on. Now, I ate the food already that we had hanging out, so if you're wondering where our meat went, that's... I ate my meat. You can't have your pudding if you didn't eat your meat. So I'm going to boil this water right now. Confirm it, and confirm it, and so that's going to leave us with... Oh, we're out of moves. Okay, so let's go ahead and just hang out for a second. We'll end the turn. Oh, there's a melon head right there. Player is crashing after a caffeine high. I went blind from caffeine? Is that what happened? I'm a little bit confused about that whole thing. You drink... So I, I drink a lot of Diet Coke. Like, seriously, I probably have like 500 different brands of cancer right now. And I just figured that I'm going to die of something anyway, so I'm not really that worried about it. But people frequently tell me to worry about it. I don't know. I don't really care that much. You gotta die of something someday. I'm not gonna, like, deprive myself of things that taste good because I'm terrified of dying. There we go. So there's some sterilized water right there. That's going to be all nice and ready to go. Ugh. Oh, man. Okay, so we lost a lot of stuff right here, including our assorted small parts that we're going to need in order to make more lock picks when the time comes along. Technically, I can break those down, and I shouldn't need these. But I'm going to keep them in my offhand just in case. Didn't I have an extra plastic bag around here? Yeah, I was going to say, I thought I had an extra plastic bag. Its condition is 7%, so it's not the nicest plastic bag, but we might be able to make it a few more steps before it rips again. Maybe scavenge, like, another location or something. There we go. I'll get that right there. I'm going to go for this little suburban housing track right here, and we're going to see what we can find. We've got a storage shed over here. I'm going to crowbar this bastard open and see what we get out of it. We got a big old sleeping bag and a multi-tool. The multi-tool is important because we can actually get rid of our piece of glass now. 
if we wanted to use this and we still lacking storage space this right here it's a polyester and flannel sleeping bag it's actually not as good as the mummy bag that you have right here if you put the pharaoh mummy bag you're already good to go you don't even need this guy right here although that one does look more comfortable i don't own a mummy bag but i have a friend that does and it looks really really uncomfortable i have this bag that's been passed down to my family for probably 30 years that bag is from like the 60s and it's still the most comfortable sleeping bag i've ever had i refuse to go out without it it's a family heirloom it's amazing like, they don't make them like that anymore. My sleeping bag, it has a canvas outside. Like, it's a very rough canvas outside. Underneath that, it has a watertight lining. And then underneath that, it's all thick padded flannel. Oh, it's so comfortable. It's like basically pajamas that you wrap yourself in when you go to bed. And I refuse to go out in nature without it. I don't like newer sleeping bags because they're made out of that polyester material on the inside. And it sticks to you while you sleep. I hate that. It drives me crazy. So that means i got to sleep with all my clothes on. Otherwise, it sticks to me. And you can see right here, my... My... Oh, we just got attacked by a melon head. He's frail and he's barefoot. We can offer to talk. He's actually, like, running at us right now. Player offers to talk with melon head and is distracted. Okay, so it's right on top of us. It's charging us. I'm gonna give him a stab. He's coughing blood and stunned. Player carved into melon head's upper stomach with a hardened spear stab. He's now coughing up blood, stunned, and unable to move. He's bleeding. Let's go in for the kill with a melee surge. Let's see here. Okay. Player tries to launch a flurry of attacks at the melon head, but misses. Oh, damn. Okay, so melon head's exposed to an attack for a second. He's not doing so well. He's trying to run from us now, and I'm not going to accept that. We're going to charge him. You attacked me, pal. You started this fight off, and this is how it goes down. Melonhead, let's see here. Player carved into the Melonhead's lower right leg with a hardened spear stab. Melonhead is stunned and unable to move. The Melonhead falls unconscious. Falling to the ground and must regain its footing in order to continue. The Melonhead is exposed to an easy attack and is passed out from unbearable pain. Well, let's get all, let's get all rowdy and we're going to kick him to death. Yeah! And so I guess we... Melonhead's... Melonhead leader's head was smacked. You kick him while he's down. Melonhead leader has a concussion and is disoriented and is still like in a coma. One more stab and this should be all over. Down goes the enemy right there. This is what I'm talking about. This is why you want to get that spear. A melon head is actually, they're not too bad even if you're unarmed, but they can still like hurt you. So if you have a weapon, it basically makes them a non-issue. We can carve the melon head up. It counts as a humanoid corpse. So if you wanted, there's a rogue hiccup right there attacking me once again. They count as a corpse. A humanoid corpse. You can chop them up if you want. I mean, if you take that right there, you get human meat, though. So he's a melon. You get you can get Kuru, though. So I really, really, really wouldn't recommend eating human meat in this game. I'm pretty sure. The last time I played, you could cannibalize people, but nothing bad happened. But I think I remember the developers saying something about the fact that they wanted it to be like a, a decision you had to make in order to cannibalize other people. No useful items found. Okay, that's disappointing. We had a pretty good chance right there, but sometimes that's the way she goes. Ooh, we cut ourselves on some broken glass. It was a stupid mistake, but while trying to reach a blocked room from the outside, you cut yourself on the broken glass from the window. It'll sting for a while, but it isn't anything serious. You didn't find any items. Seeing as we made a bunch of noise, I'm going to try and move on, too. We probably shouldn't be heading west. I should probably be heading east because that's where all the storyline content is. I mean, I don't know what's really out to the west. I've never been out here. The map is enormous in this game, so technically, once you get a good play going, it can last quite a while. It's sort of like Cataclysm DDA, where... If you have a good run going, it's actually pretty difficult to die unless you do something stupid. And so, this game is very similar. Unless I do something stupid, we should be okay here. Oh yeah, there's a big old cut right there. How's that looking? Is that cut gone yet? A minor cut? It's not bleeding though, so that's good. Change the bandage over here. We've got minor bruising and minor pain. Okay, that's fine. You can go ahead and leave the band-aid on right there. How's this one doing? Minor cut and minor pain, although we don't have... Is that bleeding right there? Okay, so that is bleeding. I think we're pretty much covered in bandages right now, but what we need to do is I'm going to empty this out. We've got to purify the wound with sterilized water. Bam. Even though I'm pretty sure you're supposed to put salt in it, too. I think purified water alone actually acts as an accelerant for bacteria. Even if it's been boiled, it just adds moisture to the area, which increases your chance of getting infected. I'm pretty sure if you're going to rub water on something, you should probably put some iodine or something in it first. Although, damn, that hurts. When I slashed, I slashed, like, right over here. I slashed my entire leg open one time about an inch deep. And I was surprised by it bled for days. It bled forever. And once it stopped bleeding, it was just leaking white. Well, not white shit. It was leaking like this clear stuff after that for a while. But I duct taped it shut. I packed it with... The first night, what I did is I washed it out with rubbing alcohol. I packed it with gauze and then I duct taped it shut and went to bed. I got up in the morning. I changed the gauze. I took the duct tape off. 
And that day when I got in the shower, I poured iodine on it. Woo! That right there, that's a feeling. That'll let you, that's a feeling, that's a type of pain that'll let you know you're alive right there. And so once it had been washed out with iodine, I once again duct taped it back up. And then once the cut was actually small enough, it had actually healed enough. Once it had healed enough, I actually used medical tape or whatever, you know, that sticky tape or whatever. Like, it's that weird pink tape that sticks to itself. I don't know. Medical wrappings or whatever. But the cut was too big. Like, I had to wrap it all around my entire leg, so I opted just to duct tape it shut for a while. There is nothing you can't fix with duct tape, my friends. There is nothing you cannot fix with duct tape. Let's go ahead and scavenge this area. I think there may be something useful for us to have here. We are looking like we're out of space, though. Or, I'm sorry, we're out of moves. But... Oh, really? There's some cornicola left? We'll drink that real quick. It's weird how when you drink cornicola, you start sweating. That's kind of funny, though. I'm going to drop that in there. That should be... This should be... These should both be purified. I'm going to eat all this just off the ground right now because I see no reason not to. We've already got a decent food supply in our bag. And so you really only scavenge like this. Those are Agoricus bisperus. Okay, I definitely don't want to risk eating death caps. Yeah, Amanita phylloides get you into trouble. Alright, so technically, actually no, I thought I could fit water somewhere else, but you know what, I like our supply right now. Did I purify that, by the way? Or did I just, like, leave it there? I can't remember if I ran water across it. I think I did. I think I did. We'll take a chance. If I get an infection, it's not going to be good for us, though. It is going to be bad. Infections are rough in this game, because you have to find antibiotics. And antibiotics are not easy to come by, seriously. They're nowhere, basically. Crashing after a caffeine high, we're pretty well rested. We're not in too bad of shape. Crumbling apartment buildings, that's as dangerous as it sounds. Since we're so wounded right now, I'm going to stay away from that. We basically have all the things we need to... What the hell is that? My god. What was that? I've never seen that before. That's new since the last time I played. Oh my god, let's get the hell out of here. Nope, he can have it. I don't want to scavenge at all. Nope, you can keep it. You can keep it. I'm going to jump up on a hill, though, and maybe see if we can expose a little bit more land. Maybe go up in here. We're looking... Eh, we should probably get some sticks and stuff ready to go, but I can do that once night comes along. I think that... Well... Let's just kind of hustle off in a different direction, I guess. There's a lot of storyline to be had off in the east if you have enough money to make it happen. Okay. So now would be the time that we want to start. What the hell is that? Is that just a building? What is that? Okay, so now would be the time where we want to go out and start scavenging some things from the forest. So let's grab that. We'll use botany, and maybe that'll supply us with our dinner as well. It's got like a weird grainy texture to it, but we keep eating stuff off the ground. I don't know. Don't ask me. We'll eat a handful of berries here. This seems like a great way to give yourself diarrhea, though. You gotta be careful about eating a lot of roughage when you're out in nature. Because the human body, now that we live in a modern diet, the human body is not used to eating nothing but roughage. So, for example, if you're eating berries and mushrooms for, like, days on end, it's probably going to destroy you. Our bodies have become accustomed to eating a lot of preservatives and a lot of things that are, like, subnatural. You should recover from it after a while, but you really want to supplement your diet with a little bit of meat or something if you can. Okay. So, thirst has been slaked. I may actually... We still have... Yeah, we still have some of the stuff that we need. I'm going to use that real fast to get some more wood out of it. And let's make ourselves a fire. How about, how's that sound? Let's make ourselves a fire here. We've got our long spear. I'm going to throw that over there. Trapping. There we go. We need some kindling. We'll get that going. You basically do the same stuff every day in this game. You're just kind of trying to make it along. We'll make a big fire, but we're going to abandon it in just a minute. We'll throw the fire back in there off the next page. And now that we've got the fire, we don't need trapping. What we need is to purify some of this agua and so that's what we're gonna do make some agua puta we'll go over here all right we got that right there and I, this is actually for drinking i'm not gonna stash this away in any of my bottles well i will actually let's go ahead and go to our player menu real fast which of our bottles are empty so that bottle is empty we'll throw that stack in there it's purified water we'll throw that sterilized water in there so now wait how come that didn't work I'll empty you out. Let me empty you. This water right here, we'll drink it real fast. I'm going to put this in the bottle right there, and then we're going to drink these ones right here to make sure that we stay nice and hydrated tonight. We could go ahead and take a nap right here through the night, but I actually find that it's a better practice to get the way, like get away from a fire if you can. I mean, sleeping near a fire is probably a reasonably terrible plan. 
Oh man, our plastic bag fell apart again. I wanted to scavenge a new one before this happened, but oh, my multi-tool was in there. I may ditch the tarp for right now. And I'm going to keep the foil just in case we end up having to use it. I'm not so convinced just yet that the foil is not going to be useful later. I can drop all that on the ground. I don't think it's that big of a deal. Maybe we're going to camp right here anyways. It'll be fine. Let's go ahead and crash out right here. We've got plenty of band-aids. Pretty soon, oh man, our shoes fell apart too. Damn it, gators. Our Crocs fell apart. We didn't put enough Croc butter on them. That's a real product. Like any shoe that I have to smear cream on in order to keep it working is not a shoe that I desire to wear. Let's go ahead and we're going to throw our camping bag on the ground. I'm pretty sure we can use like sticks and stuff to like make a tar like a tarp tent or something like that. I I'm almost positive we can. I mean, I can't promise you that we can, but I'm pretty sure that we... Why is that attached to my... I don't want you ketchup packets. Get out of here. Let's see if maybe... What can I do with that? Nothing? Okay, so I know we can make a tent. I know we can make a tent. I need to look this up in between episodes and figure it out because I am almost positive that, like, a tent is not a hard thing to make in this game. What is that? A rough splint? Really? Okay. Yeah, make a splint. Oh, it's the stick and the foil. Okay, I don't know if we're going to use that. We don't have any broken bones or anything, so... Eh, kind of an interesting thing that I just learned how to make. I mean, it's on my crafting list right here, but never made one before. Let's go ahead and throw this on the ground then. Now that we have the camping bag on the ground, we can throw this over here. Let's go ahead and sleep for the night. We may get attacked. I hate it when I get attacked in my sleep. Okay, so we did we wake up from something bad happening, or did we wake up from just, like, everything being okay? I would say just to rest and heal, to be honest. Just, like, hang out for a little bit and see if we get any better. Because I don't really want to travel around until daytime anyways. Oh, we've got a dog. So a feral dog leader. I would actually try to... Ooh, our bag is on the ground. We can't retreat. I mean, technically I can. Although it looks like we just retreated straight into another ma... Eh, let's blind retreat it. I'm gonna go... Oh, it's hidden, actually. Okay. There he is. All right, so we're going to have to fight this dog. We don't really have a choice. We're sort of tore up right now, and I'm not happy about it. Like, I wish that we were not. But the unfortunate thing right here is that we look okay. It says we have lost blood, but our meter is totally full. I don't know. I may be doing this improperly. Let's go ahead and fight with this thing, I guess, since it's dead set on fighting us. I think that I'll just wait for him, actually, if he wants to get close. See if I... Oh, we can actually attack now. All right, let's attack. So it's dodging. It's frail, so if we can land a hit on it, it should be fine. There we go. It's stunned, bleeding, and coughing up blood. We stabbed it in the lower stomach with a spear. Now it's in severe pain. And we should be able to be crippled its arm. The dog passed out from unbearable pain. Let's finish it off. And that's going to be that. Now this does offer us a unique opportunity to eat dinner early on in the day. So I think I may do just that. It'll sort of depend what we find here with our botany run. We got a little bit of something-something. So let's have a look. Anything that I can eat off the ground will let me know how long I want to spend here before I go any further. Check my medical menu, too. I don't think it got me anywhere. I think we're pretty good right now. I think we're looking fairly decent. We can carry a splint in our hand. Okay, I'm not going to do that because I don't really need it, but I guess that's an option. Amanita phylloides. I wonder if you can make a poison spear, although that doesn't actually bode well for our hunting endeavors, does it? Well, I suppose if we're going to make a fire, yeah, let's go ahead and do it. I, I feel bad, like, wasting stuff like this, so let's go ahead and chop up the dog real fast. It's like the eighth dog we've killed. There are a lot of wild dogs in this game. You may have gotten that feeling already. There are a lot of dogs. So now what we need to do is we need to make a fire. Actually, are we out of sticks? I'm out of sticks, so it doesn't even matter anyways. Well, damn, I could come back here. That's the thing. My camping bag is on the ground. I need to put it back in my inv- Oh, it's in my campsite here. I don't want the tarp anymore. It's taking up a lot of space, and it's not really being that useful. I'm holding onto the scopes in case I get a gun, and I'm holding onto the scopes in case I get to town so that I can make a little bit of money straight off the bat. There are vendors and things in this game, and you should really consider finding valuable stuff like laptops. And if you can carry it back with you, you can make a lot of money. It just sort of depends. Bullets are also worth a lot of money, so... Hold on to those for later if you can. For $1,000, we can get our myopia cured. And there's a couple other things. For like $1,000, you can train like skills. Or you can get like bionics and all kinds of weird stuff in this game. I don't know. We might be able to break this apart, actually. Let me see if I can get my stick back here. Yeah, we can get our stick back. Oh, we don't have any moves left? Well, damn it. All right, well, let's 
ends it. Oh, another dog? Come on now. We're fighting. So I'm going to threaten it, I guess. The threatening does not appear to be working, though. Alright, well, I'm going to keep threatening just in case. Otherwise, we'll just wait for it to get here. We killed its leader already. Supposedly, this shouldn't be too diff. I'm not going to sprint at him. We're too close right now to be... Let's go ahead and advance a little bit. Oh, he's running away from us now. Yeah, get out of here. You can just sit here. It automatically makes you wait if you just click confirm. Okay, so we scared it. It's leaving. That's fine. I'd rather not kill another animal right now just because every time we go into combat, it gives us a real risk of actually injuring ourselves. And we've got so many bandages all over us right now that I'd really prefer to maybe feel a little bit better before I go any farther. I think... What was I going to do? Oh, yeah. I was trying to get my stick back. That's what it was. I was trying to get my stick back so that I could make myself a little fire over here. There we go. Get my stick back. Awesome. And so we got our stick back. Let's go to the crafting menu. Make a little campfire right here. It's not going to be much, but it's going to be enough to purify the rest of this water so that we can drink it real fast. Because as you may have noticed, our thirst is looking a little bit iffy right now. And I prefer to keep everything maxed out in this game just in case something goes wrong. It also affords us an opportunity to cook some of this meat and just eat it real fast so that we don't have to deal with it later. No, that's not what I wanted. I wanted trapping. And then I need that right there. Did I need multiple sticks in order for this to work? Hmm. Pretty sure that should make a fire. You can make an unlit torch. That's interesting. I didn't even know that was an item that you could make. Oh. Oh, that's not what I'm doing right now. What am I... It must need two sticks. We may need multiples of sticks. It seems possible at this point. Alright, we'll throw the stick back in the bag. Grab some of these twiggy bits over... Oh, man. Okay, so we don't have any twiggy bits with us right now. Get rid of the tinfoil and put the twiggy bits in instead. I don't know what the tinfoil does, and I'm not going to carry it around if I don't know what it's for. Got a couple of moves left. So I think I'm probably just going to be on my way, and we can hope that the sun comes out eventually. We've got a locked storage shed. We do have a lock pick. Trapping, we can check for traps. We found something, so let's confirm it. We haven't found any shoes in a while, which is really sort of bumming me out. I, I would love to find some shoes. We keep finding, like, bad shoes. I mean, that one's only at 20%. I mean, we need to find better shoes for sure. If we don't find better shoes soon, our feet are just getting... We're losing actions every turn, too. Because we're barefoot and we have blisters. I have no idea how to deal with the blisters. I assume they just go away on their own eventually. If you're not wearing, like, improper footwear or something. No clue, though. What I need to do is search one of these forests over here, and that's what I'm going to do. We'll end our turn. And let's go ahead and scavenge over here for a bit. Ah, we fell down a ravine. While trying to navigate a precarious ravine, you slip and tumble to the bottom. In the fall, you get banged up and bruised, but nothing more serious. Ah, we're bleeding again? Damn, we are always bleeding. Alright, well, let me drink some of our water right here real fast. Alright, so there's our water. It sounds like we're shaking a spray can when we do this. Let's go ahead and purify that wound real quick. And then we'll throw another band-aid on it. My god. Alright. Well then, we've got a little bit of extra... Did I just purify my wound with bad water? Oh, I totally just did. Oh, I'm so stupid. Oh no, okay, we need to fix that right now. If I don't fix that right this second, we're gonna have an infection. I just... I didn't realize that all my water wasn't purified. We have problems now. Big problems. Okay, so we've got that. Let's go ahead and make a fire real fast. Put that in there. Get off my clicker. Go away. We'll put that right there. We'll take... Trapping. Hey, I don't want you right now. Get off my clicker. There we go. Alright, so we need a fire. And aside from a fire, we very much need to make this a bigger fire. No, we don't need to make a littler fire. We just need a bigger fire. There we go. So now that we got a big fire, we can go through, and I need to purify this water, like, right this second. And we need to apply it to our wound before something terrible happens. So there's the sterilized water right there. We'll go over into here. I washed my wound with dirty water. And I didn't even realize it. At this point, it might be too late. Yeah, at this point, it might be too late. I mean, this is kind of a desperate attempt to fix myself right now. I think, realistically, we're in trouble. I, if I had alcohol, I'd feel better about it. If I had alcohol, I'd feel better about it. So we've got that. Do we have any more... 
I need water very, very badly. We come down here and have a look at this shack in the forest. These tend to have really, really good loot. Let's see what we got here. We have a cardboard box that we can store some stuff in. A Cornicola t-shirt, a crowbar. How's our crowbar doing? 60%, it's fine. We don't even need half this stuff. However, a few more bottles would be great. Ah, I wish that whiskey had something in it. That's real, real bad. I need to purify our wound. I'm really worrying about it, actually. I need water. Okay, so let's find a source of water for right now. And then we'll try and boil up as much of... Oh, our clean rags have fallen apart. Okay. So what we need to do now is we can take these off, and we can actually reuse them. It's not that big of a deal, but when they fall off, you see right there we've actually been cured. All of our cuts and wounds are gone. Down here, do we still have a cut? We do. Okay. So a little while longer, and we should feel better. I'm really, really worried about this cut right here. I may have made a... I might have made a stupid mistake that gets us killed, and that's what I... Like I said, until you do something stupid in this game, once you're set, you should be set. I... That is concerning. And I just don't know how to fix it. Let's go track down some water, I guess. What is that, a fox? Or what the hell is that? There's a guy with one shoe on over there that we could beat up to if we wanted to. Probably leave him alone, though, because I don't care. There we go. So there's some extra water and some sticks and some random stuff. Unfortunately, we can't purify it right now, so... If I mess this up, remind me that... All of my water right now is bad and not potable. Let's eat some of these for a bit. I think we should make our way to the east in the off chance that we could find some... Are these edible? No, death caps. Okay, we're good on our thirst anyways. I will focus on... Oh, the guy just cryo facility. Okay, we're back over here already. Well, let me scavenge over here with some botany. And now that we've done that, we've got some extra water, and I'm actually going to try and boil all this up. Let me use that real fast. We're going to have to bypass a turn, though, because we have nothing to craft with. I don't know if that's a fox or what the hell that is. like a big old bloodhound or something that's running around in the middle of nowhere. I wish... I, can you tame dogs in this game? If I could tame a dog, that would be fantastic. I would love to have a pet. It would make my life easier, too. Although, I don't think the combat in this game is built for multiple combatants. I'm not sure. Okay, so it's stick-up time, and by stick-up time, I mean it's time for us to trap. So there it is. Unlit campfire right there. Take the kindling out. Okay, can we make a big-ass campfire? How do I make a big-ass campfire? Oh, that just makes a little one with some ashes. Okay, never mind. I don't care anymore. I didn't want to make a big fire. That's all that I wanted to do. I wanted to burn stuff because I'm unstable like that. Mm. All right, so what I need now is to bump my desk loudly on camera. I also need to find my pot. There it is. I found my pot. So let's go ahead and boil as much water as we can. Absolutely. There we go. So all of this should be sterilized. New. Oh, that's sterilized already? Okay, these ster... No, that one's not. I was going to say, I know there's more water here that isn't sterilized, and I'm just going to sterilize... Big ol' stacks of it. We're all out of moves, though, so I think that's going to be it for us right now. Let's go ahead and bypass our turn. I think the dog's going to run from the fire. But that means that at this point, we have a lot of sterilized water that we can throw in these bottles to keep us good for the next little bit. But accidents happen. Check your water. Check your water for sure, because... If we've got more sterilized water right here, I'm just going to drink it right this second. Get that water inside of you. That's a survival tip. If you've got water, like purified water, get it in you. It's not doing you any good if it's sitting inside of a bag or anything. Like, seriously, if you've got it inside of, like, a, a water bag or anything else, it's not helping you at all. It's not helping you at all. So get it down your gullet before you travel. Don't conserve water. I think that... Because it's just going to make you feel more fatigued. Your body requires... The thing is, your body requires a certain amount of water in order to lubricate its basic functions. So, i get rid of that stick right there since it's just added useless space. Alright, so now we should be able to make ourselves a decent fire whenever we want to. Get some more kindling in there. There you go. Maybe slap that in there, possibly. Yeah, more kindling. Okay, so now we've got more than enough fire starting stuff. The guy just cryo facility, I don't know. Let's head towards Detroit, I guess. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Neo Scaven. That was a pretty abrupt ending, huh? 
That was pretty abrupt. I was thinking about it myself. I was like, eh, it seems pretty abrupt. We're going to travel to the east from now on and see if we can find our way to some storyline content. My name is Splattercat. I will see you all next time. Take care out there, everybody. And as always, I do very sincerely from me to you.